Hey guys and welcome to this video of everything you need to start a press on nail business. So I'm going to go straight in to the full cover nail tips. I have some of my collection out here just to show you some examples. When I first started I did not start with a lot of shapes or sizes. I think I started with long coffin only and then I quickly got medium coffin and I moved on from there. So now I have everything from short coffin to 3xl square and everything in between but don't feel pressure to start off with loads of shapes at once. Just pick a shape that you think your target audience might want and work with that. Long coffin is a good one to start with for sure. And here I'm just showing you some of mine. I get my tips from AliExpress and Amazon. These McCart ones you can get on Amazon. These are their stiletto tips. And these here are soft gel tips from AliExpress. They can also be used for Gel X nails, but I use these as my press on nails and the this is probably my favorite shape to do designs on because it is so long that you just have so much space to work with and i love them and if you want links for any of these guys feel free to comment and i'll leave the links below for you Okay, so next up are the press on nail stands. These are very important because you need to actually have these to work on your press on nail designs. So here I'm just showing you the two types that I have that are well loved and nice and crusty and dusty. So please don't mind them. But yeah, this is the magnetic stand. You can actually pull the little pieces off one by one and work individually on them, which is handy for French tips or intricate designs. And the blue stuff on top is like blue sticky tack that you just get on Amazon and you just need that to stick everything together so the nails won't budge when you're working on them. And then next up is my gel polishes. I use a lot of the gel bottle ink. I actually love the pigmentation in the gel bottle ink and I also take clients as well so I do have a large range of gel polishes to choose from but when I was starting out I did not have all this of course. So if you're just starting, Amazon have great ranges of gel polishes with multiple colors in them. You can buy sets and they are very, very affordable. And here are some of my favorite Amazon brands. I love the nudes in that collection. Some model ones, some Vanalisa. And then of course you need your top and base coats. You have to have your top and base coats to pull it all together. So I'm just showing you some I got from Amazon and some from the gel bottle ink. So yeah, you basically can't forget your top and base coats. And also some blooming gel if you want to move into marble designs, but that's not a necessity at the start, but you might want it down the line. Okay, for my packaging, I use these pink bubble mailers that I currently get from AliExpress. I did start off getting my packaging supplies from Amazon when I started, but then I quickly learned that if you order in bulk from AliExpress, while it may take longer, it is definitely, definitely cheaper. So if you have time to wait, I highly recommend searching AliExpress and getting the best deal for you. And I also use this cardstock here, which I love at the moment. This is the cardstock that I use as backing for my press on nails and then I insert it into the cellophane bags that come with it. I use a white foam double sided tape and I used to use these Ziploc bags here at the start. Um, I don't use those anymore and also I think people sometimes use these organza bags here. It just depends whichever you, suits you and your budget and whatever you want to use. Each, each works perfectly, but it just really depends what you want to use and what style you want for your business. And this is the white foam tape here that I use to stick the press on nails with. Okay, little extras like this are perfect for your small business. I got these on AliExpress, so I stick these on my application packs. And this is my thank you card. I designed this on Canva. If you haven't used Canva, seriously need to check it out. 
and this these are my bags that I use for free gifts so if someone orders quite a large order from me I always try and give a free gift it could be stickers or it could be some rings to go with their nails these I also got on AliExpress and I think they're very very cute love the holographic pink so they are my free gift baggies So another thing you'll need for your press on nail business is an application kit. In mine, I provide nail glue, a nail file and a cuticle pusher. I don't include those sticky tabs that I see some people use. I have never actually been asked for them. So I think this application kit is definitely sufficient enough. If you're starting off, you can just start off with this. It's perfect. Everything you need for your false nails are in here and yeah, it works a treat. So definitely, definitely that's enough if you're just starting off. Okay, so here is the fun part of what you need for a press on nail business and that is the nail art. So I'm just showing you my stickers and foil and crystal collection here. Um, you don't need to have a whole lot starting off. I would recommend some definitely gold and silver foil and some rhinestones for sure. If you're getting rhinestones or crystals, make sure they are glass and not AB and you will definitely see the payoff in the shine. But yeah, these are some transfer foils that I actually don't use a lot of. Um, again, your nail art collection will really build over time. Just start off small and AliExpress and Shein and Amazon will be your best friend when it comes to collecting your nail art. Okay, so here are my dotting tools. I have them since day one. I think they were one of the first things I ever bought actually. And here are an example of some different types of brushes that you'll need. And if you're anthem like me, you will make a mess. So lint-free wipes and alcohol and acetone will be your clean up buddies. So they are a must. Okay, so now that you have all your supplies gathered, you need to figure out where you want to sell your press on nails. The two options, the two main options would be Etsy or your own website hosted by something like Shopify. If you have your own following, your own website is probably the way to go. Just be where you do have to drive your own traffic to your own website, where Etsy does have a built in customer base and a built in marketplace ready for ready with shoppers who are eager to buy. I sell on Etsy and I really enjoy selling on Etsy. Both have fees. Your own website would have a monthly fee and Etsy has fees are around 10 or 11% I think now at the moment. But if you wanna know more about selling on Etsy, feel free to ask and I'm gonna leave a little studio vlog here linked of my work on my Etsy shop. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.